The Clean My Mac uninstaller will let you see the total amount of disk space an app and its related files are using. You can then uninstall the app and those extra files from right here in Clean My Mac. In this column we have all the apps installed on this Mac listed. As I select each app, their application files are displayed over to the right. Many apps are just going to have a single binary or application file listed here. So in the case of Aurora HDR, we just have the single file that's taking up about 400 megabytes of disk space. I could uninstall that app from here and clean my Mac. Or by simply dragging it to the trash from a finder window. And both would effectively do the same thing. But now let's do a search for Pixelmator. I have both Pixelmator and Pixelmator Pro installed on this Mac. And each one has several extra files that could be removed along with the app if I chose to uninstall it. Uninstalling Pixelmator from here in Clean My Mac would also remove all these extra preferences and supporting files that would no longer be needed. Just moving the application to the trash from the finder would leave all these extra files behind on the Mac. So uninstalling using Clean My Mac can save more disk space and clutter than just removing an app simply by moving it to the trash and then emptying the trash. If you have an app that's freezing up as it launches or not performing correctly, we're able to do a reset of that app here in Clean My Mac. Under the Smart Selector, I can switch to Application Reset. And now the app's not going to be removed, but most of the preference and supporting files will be. So the next time the app is launched, it's going to be like launching it for the first time again. If we jump into Clean My Mac Preferences and the Clean My Mac menu pane, we can turn on this option to offer to correctly uninstall applications if I do move one to the trash. This can be the best of both worlds because you don't need to open the Clean My Mac app. It's just going to warn you when you trash an app that it can uninstall it more effectively than just moving the app to the trash, and you can do so in a single click. We'll talk a little more about the Clean My Mac menu bar option and these preferences a little later in the tutorial.